hi guys it's your girl annie and i want to start by saying a big thank you to everybody watching me right now i really appreciate your support so far and the last time i checked my subscribers have skyrocketed and i really 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 appreciate that thank you guys so much so before we go deep into the video we're going to have like 10 questions with annie and i think that's the main reason why we're here but before that i got a package from uh, Zaron Cosmetics and I want to say a big thank you to Zaron. I'm currently wearing her gloves and the whole pack is amazing and I could not refrain from saying a big thank you and a big appreciation to Zaron. So this is the lip gloss and like you don't even need much. You basically just have to like use a little and you're good. Like this is like the best I've used so far honestly. This is like the best and like I have a lot more in here like a lot more i did not expect this it was just from an event and then i got this i was just really really lucky zaron gave me literally a bronzer palette everything mascara just name it zaron gave me everything zaron gave me everything and i just want to say a big thank you and you guys should definitely check out zaron so hey it's me okay so you guys welcome back and we're going to go straight into the questions and answers i'm not going to bore you guys with my answers so stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video Mwah. okay so the first question on the list is what is something you love about yourself okay well i don't want to sound narcissistic or anything so i think i'm going to keep this really really simple Okay, so one thing I really like about myself is the fact that I don't let things actually change my perspective on certain things. Like, I can literally go through a very tough situation right now and I still find myself trying to solve other people's problems before I solve mine, even if I'm like so stressed out. So I feel like I really, really appreciate that about myself. A lot of people say um, it's a problem, but I don't think it's a problem. So I appreciate myself for that. Oh my God! The next question is how does a perfect day look like for you? A perfect day. I think I just want to like be in my house basically and just watch movies. There should be a lot of food and there should be good network, light, everything, and that is a perfect day for me. Oh really? Mm-hmm. So the third question, what was a major turning point in your life? I doubt I have that for now. I don't really think i have a turning point in my life but i'm sure to have it very soon and with your support i feel like yeah i can actually get that turning point so i'm looking up to you guys to make it work for me Mwah. so the fourth question is what is the most impactful no you've said okay so it's not really a no it's more like a decision i made huh? It's more like a decision I made. Huh? This is quite tricky. But I can't really say it was like a no no. It was more like a decision that I made and I kind of like stuck with it. You know, like deciding not to do anything that collides with your morals and then actually sticking to it and saying that okay, it's actually working out perfectly for you and so so I feel like that is basically it for me. Like just making a decision that okay, I wanted to like not do certain things and then i actually not do those things and i see my life actually getting better by the day and that's it that's it okay the fifth question are you single okay well it depends on who is asking now who sent you nigga? but then i'm in a serious relationship with rema he just does not know about that yet hey y'all come look at this but i think it's something we're going to make public very soon <laughs> You guys trust it trust it trust the process <laughs> okay so the sixth question what's your most embarrassing memory guys this is the whole ass story this is like a whole ass story you guys just sit tight and get ready for it full gist loading <laughs> okay so sometime in 2020 yeah 2020 i think beginning when I just resumed school for year one, we had this um, tutorial happening in the evening. 
so i actually went for that tutorial and we were done by like 6 p.m or so and so i was just walking back home and i saw one of my classmates from secondary school you know after secondary school we didn't like get to see until that particular day i was even shocked that like that my classmate was in unical so i was like ah, i was really excited i went to like greet and all of that so while we were just talking he just collected my phone and started to run with it what and i'm like yo can i like get back my phone or something and that particular day i don't even know what i was thinking i wore like a strapped jumpsuit and i did not take any jacket and the jumpsuit was not particularly tight but it was it was free but the material was light so i started to chase him to get my phone I don't know what I was thinking as I was chasing him I realized I was getting a bit free but then I was like why am I free and then I noticed somebody running towards me from the back and she tapped me and she was like yo your clothes is torn oh my god bro. and I'm like I don't understand your clothes is torn I touched my entire clothes was torn like everybody that was at my back was just staring right at my underwear and I was like so embarrassed i started to cry i literally left my phone i started to cry and then i ran to the house i was running towards the house when i saw one of my sister's friends and he was like what is wrong what happened i said don't worry i was crying serious <laughs> you guys i was so embarrassed <laughs> like everybody everybody that saw me like i was i don't even know what my problem was that particular day i think i even had like proper g strings on so you can imagine how embarrassed i was no jacket running with your torn jumpsuits with your g-strings guy it was it was terrible when i think back to it i even feel embarrassed again i did not take my phone no i think it was like towards evening i think he had to locate my house to return my phone back to me anytime i think about that i'm literally like irked by it because like it was really really embarrassing and trust me i feel like it was a more funny experience when people people that were actually around saw me that i'm actually narrating i don't think i'm actually even narrating it properly for you guys it was the worst it was the literal worst and trust me when i say i don't want to get back to that particular day because it was terrible and nobody should have to experience that so you guys you're welcome i just embarrassed myself <laughs> okay so we'll move straight into the next question which is what's your favorite music to listen to when you are in a bad mood when I'm in a bad mood, when I'm sad, I listen to, I don't know, I listen to literally anything. But I mostly listen to like Davido's Timeless album. Like that was like my most recent addiction. I literally listen to the whole album and then I go and listen to my boyfriend's song, Rema, of course, yeah. I listen to him. I listen to all of his songs because yeah, my man. So yeah, so you guys. So I listen to that and I recently started listening to Lizzie. I think the lady that sang um ceilings ceilings yes ceilings i started to listen to her recently and most of the time when i feel like i'm getting to that bad mood or i'm sad i just search for her and i just listen to like all of her songs at once so yeah the lady that sang ceilings you guys please just check just research you'll find her and please yeah so i think we just move straight into the next question what inspired you to do what you're doing right now right now meaning like my youtube i guess so well this is something i've like i said in my first video those of you that have been watching it's something i've always wanted to do but then if i have to go back to the fourth question that was asked about making decisions that are making me a better person now i'll say most of those decisions i made actually made me more confident like i felt absolutely confident after making certain decisions and i just felt like it was high time i come out here and like put something out there for you guys because i feel like the, when you're confident you actually start to like do things that you never thought you could do before and honestly this confidence has not been something that has been there so i just want to use this time out to speak to all of you if you don't feel confident at this point in your life or you're just like me that at certain points in your life you were not confident but you are now it's such a beautiful thing and please it's important to actually do things that you love at every given point of your life so that you start to feel the need to appreciate yourself more and when you start to appreciate yourself you start to feel more confident and when you start to feel more confident you start to do things that you never even thought you could do like my youtube my starting youtube was something that i felt like was very distant 
but then one day i just got up and decided to like make shoot a video and it came out really well and you guys were amazing in my first video thank you so much for all of the views so please you guys don't limit yourselves to anything if you feel like something is right for you go ahead and do it that is my advice whether you think it's going to destroy your life or not what no it's not going to destroy your life <laughs> but if you feel something is right for you do not hesitate to do it and that is my advice for every single person watching this video do not hesitate be your own boss take control of your own life and make sure you do things that you're going to feel very happy about when you go back to look at it so that's basically it for me so i think i'll just dive right into the next question which is how does it feel like to be a twin okay so some of you probably don't know but i have a twin brother and honestly it's amazing because it's a whole different relationship you have with your twin brother like i can literally just call my twin brother anytime and i know that okay he's going to show for me so it's a whole different feeling i mean i don't know how else to explain it but i want you guys to know that it's amazing it's honestly amazing coming to this world with someone you know this saying i come this world alone i can never make that statement because i definitely do not come to this world alone and just as i do not come to this world alone my problems are not for only me because we share in it all the time and i know that he has got me all the time and it's just really amazing to know that you have this one person that you can always turn to it's just the best honestly so i'll move straight into the next thing just to spice it up a little with you guys before i answer the last question we're going to have a game my friend is here so i'm going to be inviting her over and we're going to have a game of two truths and a lie you guys keep watching and i hope you enjoy the game hi guys so we're back and with me we have didi my very good friend didi and i'm going to have her socials displayed down so you guys please follow her on all her social media accounts thank you guys so much Mwah. so like i said we're playing two truths and a lie <laughs> i don't know why i'm so sure didi is going to get me and for some weird reason, I feel like I'm not going to get Didi because Didi has a lot of experiences that you will not even know that she has. The last time, Didi said she was hung on a fan. That's suspicious. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> Actually, she was hung on a fan. I did not even think that was possible. I wonder what she has in store for me today. But you guys, please, it's not like I'm a bad friend or I don't know my friend. It's just because Didi is a lot. She's a lot. Trust me. She's a lot. Okay, so we're going to start. Didi, you go first. And so give us your true statement. Two truths and a lie. Yep. The first one, I have slept under my bed throughout the entire night. The second one, I have been chased by a chicken. And the third one, I have kissed a girl. Okay, I think the lie is gosh. Okay, I think you've kissed a girl. And I think you've been chased by a chicken. Which leaves us with you slept under your bed for the whole night. But then again, I feel like you've actually slept under your bed for the whole night. So I think the lie is you've been chased by a chicken. That's the lie. Am I right? That's actually wrong. Maybe <gasps> the lie is I've slept under my bed. Jesus Christ! Why the fuck would I sleep under my bed? Because you are weird! <laughs> I've actually been chased by a chicken. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I told you guys. Horrible there's experience. a lot. They're going to give us that story next time. No problem. I promise. You need to be here. <laughs> okay, so my turn. So, my first statement. I have a tattoo at my back. Just below my waist. The second statement. I can ride a bike. Then the third statement is I'm an athlete. What's the lie? I don't have a tattoo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to see you stuck naked. Hey yo! Yo! Oh man, wow. I but can you ride a bike? For young athletes, you have to be able to ride a bike, no? The lie is you have a tattoo. You don't have a tattoo. Oh wait. <laughs> Two hours later. Ah, uh, the lie is you have a tattoo. Is that your final answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys. 
the truth of the whole thing is that I actually do not have a tattoo. You're right. <laughs> I'm an athlete and I can ride a bike. So yeah. why was that was so hard for me. Of course, you don't what have a tattoo. Why was it hard for you? Like, why did you have to think so much? I don't know the way you said it <laughs> because you look like someone that can't ride a bike. But then you're athletic. Bike. So, so, so thank you guys so much. I hope that was fun. Uh, did you thank you so much for being here? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Please don't forget to follow all of her socials. You're going to completely, absolutely love her. I'm sure, you really love her right now. <laughs> You. okay once again welcome back guys and i hope that was really fun for you because it was really really fun for me and i hope you guys are enjoying it too so we're going straight to the last but not the least the tenth question which is if you could have a superpower what would it be i think i would like to be telepathic yeah i think i'd like to be telepathic i feel like that's so much fun you know just reading people's minds and being a part of everybody's thoughts I think that's the one I really, 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 really like. So, yeah, that's that. Alright, you guys, we finally reached the end of the video. And trust me, I do not want to leave. But obviously, the beginning of a video has to have an end of the video. And we're finally at it. So, if you're watching this, I want to say a big thank you for the support. And I really, really love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. God bless you. And I hope you keep supporting me. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you've not. Your subscribes and your likes and your shares is actually going to go a very long way for me. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. And I really love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you.